the New York Hall of Science, and this is a map of New York City. All of these pink arrows show locations, and these battery signs show how much energy and electricity is being used up in all of those locations. So first, let's look at the Yankee Stadium up there and City Field, which is the Met Stadium down there. So, both of them use only one little bit of energy because, one, they're both baseball stadiums, so they only turn on the lights when matches are happening, and matches don't happen every single day, all the time there. So that's one reason why it doesn't, why it doesn't need that much energy to run, and both of them are outdoors, so they don't need much light outdoors. So that's another reason. Now, let's look at the Empire State Building and One World Trade Center. So the Empire State Building uses such less amount of energy because it doesn't it has very few offices so it just needs to run those little things in the offices and the lights that's pretty much all but for but for the one world trade center it has like a lot of offices it has a massive amount of offices so it needs to run all of those computers and all those presentation screens plus the lights and some other things and some other little things too. So that's why the One World Trade Center uses so, so uses so much. And now for the last one, let's look at Times Square. Times Square uses like the most the most in all of the big places in New York City because it has all of those humongous advertisement screens so it needs to run all of those and it has so many buildings so it needs to run all of the lights and all the other things that need energy and electricity to run in those buildings so it needs a lot of energy to run all of those things so that's what I learned today bye see you later